What's up, mobile devs? Today we are going to see the basics of Reanimated 2. But first of all, what is Reanimated and why is it needed? Reanimated is an animation package that allows you to write animations that can run entirely on the UI thread. Of course, in React Native, you have the option to build up animation with the React Native animated APIs. And usually that's not a huge issue, especially if the animation is a kind of a fire and forget animation. But when you need to deal with gesture animations, it is pretty hard to reach a fluid and nice animation that the final user is expecting. The issue is caused by the fact that when you're using animated APIs and a React Native PAR responder, your animation depends on the communication between JavaScript thread and the UI thread. Reanimated has solved completely that problem by running the animation uniquely on the UI thread. That is possible thanks to the worklets. In Reanimated, worklets are just simple JavaScript functions that can be handled entirely on the UI thread. In practice, a worklet is just a JavaScript function with a worklet keyword. So let's get our hands dirty and let's start to build our simple Reanimated animation. So here uh, I build up uh, uh, an Expo project um, I just uh, set up the project with, uh, with Expo CLI and uh, I include, of course, the reanimated uh, library. Uh, I use the version 2.1.0, but uh, of course, uh, uh, every version above 2.0 is fine for this uh, tutorial. And uh, I include the React Native reanimated plugin uh, on uh, bubble config.js uh, that is needed for the worklet uh, uh, for the worklets function so let's discover uh, which are the the most important ingredients uh, to build up uh, uh, reanimated animation the first uh, the first ingredient is the hook use shared value so we need to import the use shared value from react native reanimated and uh, here we can declare uh, the, our shared value that we will call it, uh, progress for simplicity. And uh, we will set the initial value uh, to zero. Use shared value allows us to create uh, a value that uh, could be handled from the, the worklets, so that uh, could be handled from the UI thread. The second most important ingredient uh, is uh, uh, the use animated style hook. With the use animated style, we can basically create a style uh, really similar to, very similar to the uh, style sheet uh, uh, style, so the React Native default uh, uh, styling. And uh, we can build so the, uh, the style with uh, this uh, use animated style hook. We will call it uh, reanimated style. And the use animated style uh, return, returns uh, a, a style. And uh, this kind of uh, uh, field is uh, uh, related to the dependency, isn't uh, mandatory, is uh, optional. And uh, it is useful when uh, uh, your animated style depends from, uh, of um, uh, JavaScript, uh, JavaScript state. So uh, in our case, uh, uh, it will depend just from progress, that is uh, a shared value. So uh, it isn't needed to specify here the dependency. In reanimated style, uh, we will uh, we will uh, specify just the opacity value right now, and we will pass uh, the progress dot value. So the progress uh, is just a wrapper of a value, and the value itself uh, is uh, in uh, this case just a number. Use shared value can handle whatever uh, whatever object. So uh, it could be a boolean, it could be a string, and it could be uh, an entirely uh, object. So uh, the third ingredient is, uh, uh, of course, the, the, the animated view. Animated view can uh, be just uh, uh, imported uh, like uh, that. So we are importing animated, or animated from React Native Reanimated the library. And uh, we are defining here our animated view. Let's define uh, style. So uh, the default style will be uh, uh, let's imagine uh, a square. We will build so uh, height, height and uh, width of 100. 
and uh, here we can define of course a background color i will use blue just blue for simplicity so right now in uh, our animated view we aren't animating anything we need to pass uh, the reanimated style so how to do it just as a normal uh, style sheet in react native so we can add the reanimated style and uh, uh, let's put the initial value to one so nothing is uh, changing and uh, nothing is animating so how to animate progress we want to uh, animate progress from one to zero to do that we can define uh, use effect from react use effect hook from react and we can just update the progress dot value so uh, we need to animate to zero doing that we reach uh, we changed the opacity but we didn't animate so to animate uh, the last ingredient needed for the animation is, ki is a kind of high order animation uh, utility from reanimated we will use with timing so that's kind of magical that's really magical we need to import uh, with timing from react native reanimated and we can see how it animates so uh, it's uh, really fast uh, with uh, with the uh, with timing uh, uh, utility we can pass uh, user configuration and we can define a uh, duration for the animation let's uh, let's say uh, five seconds so 5000 milliseconds we can see how uh, the the square is uh, fading nicely so uh, right now we can animate much more than uh, an opacity let's uh, define for example another use shared value another shared value and uh, let's call it uh, scale so let's define the initial value of scale uh, to one that uh, is the default scaling and uh, let's add scale to the animated style okay i did it and uh, right now we need to animate the scale uh, so let's animate the scale with timing and uh, let's put the last value so two value from value one to value uh, let's say two so uh, to improve uh, animation just uh, i will just uh, sh change the uh, opacity value so progress uh, dot value to uh, value uh, 0 0.5 just to uh, avoid the uh, animation until uh, avoid the complete fading of the of the square so i think something is missing let's say zero ah, okay so the duration is too is too slow uh, we will put a duration uh, uh, let's say let's uh, keep the default duration and then let's animate to 0 0.5 and right now we can see how it is uh, effectively scaling and the opacity is changing to 0 0.5 uh, so we can do much more than that uh, we we can uh, use another high order animation uh, utility from reanimated and uh, so uh, basically with timing is based on uh, duration uh, of on timing and uh, on a curve uh, we will we can use otherwise uh, the with spring high order animation so with spring is uh, in my opinion might much more powerful and is based on a spring animation uh, a spring animation isn't based on a duration and a timing uh, is it based on physics so on the object itself on the mass on the damping on the stiffness of the object itself so uh, the animation the uh, here with spring has the default value from react native reanimated and uh, in my opinion is uh, uh, often uh, a good solution to use the default value from the reanimated library 
and right now we can see how the scale is uh, changing with a spring animation so uh, let's uh, uh, let's say that uh, we want to change from uh, uh, we want to uh, change from scale 2 to scale 1 so from a big uh, from a big, a big square big square to a small one and uh, let's say that we want to change uh, also the border radius uh, we aren't forced to uh, use uh, another shared value but uh, we can use for example uh, uh, we can attach to the border radius uh, style the progress dot value uh, value so shared value so let's uh, say that uh, the border radius should be uh, equal to progress value multiplied to size perfect so let's uh, let's uh, say size divided by two maybe the animation is uh, a little bit too fast let's say that uh, instead of with timing let's use with spring everywhere perfect and uh, let's add another ingredient to our recipe we can uh, let's imagine that we want to repeat this animation uh, at least three times so how to how to deal with that we can use another high order animation and uh, in that particular case uh, reanimated provides us uh, the with repeat high order uh, animation so with repeat would help us to repeat the animation the spring animation in this case number of uh, repetition let's say three and uh, uh, we want to um, make a, a sort of uh, reverse a reverse uh, it means that uh, we want to go from two to one uh, so two scaling two to value one and uh, from value one to value two and we want to do that uh, kind of uh, uh, turnaround three uh, three times so uh, to do that we need to enable reverse uh, otherwise uh, let's uh, let's uh, visually see what uh, what's the difference so without reverse that is the animation with reverse uh, we will uh, go from start to finish to uh, from start to end from end to start and uh, all the circle three times so we see the the difference we can see the difference let's apply with repeat also to the progress dot value so with repeat let's uh, specify the same value so three repetition and uh, enabling reverse so we can see how the uh, reanimated uh, uh, high order animation uh, are helpful in that particular case so just for the sake of clarity let's uh, animate uh, another value uh, so let's uh, rotate the object the square to rotate the object we can pass the rotate value to the uh, to the transform array and uh, I will uh, use a string. So let's change the uh, radiance. We need to use, uh, of course, mat.py, let's say 2pi. And uh, um, we can, of course, create another, uh, another uh, shared value, but uh, uh, I prefer in this case to just use uh, progress.value as before. And right here we are able to see a full rotation and that's uh, almost uh, incredible in my opinion so uh, here we can uh, we can repeat the animation uh, much more times than three we can also uh, repeat the animation uh, infinite times to do that we need to specify minus minus one so that's uh, that's how reanimated works
So let's uh, uh, talk about the last thing. Right now, uh, I think that this isn't useful, uh, but uh, uh, for this particular case, but uh, uh, for a lot of uh, use cases, it could be really useful. And uh, my, last, uh, my last purpose is to understand how worklets, uh, when worklets can be uh, useful in uh, reanimated. So let's say that uh, we, we don't want to write uh, uh, this kind of string, ma, uh, but uh, we want to uh, handle this string uh, with uh, a function. So let's imagine that uh, the rotate calculation is much more complex than that. And so we want to create a specific function that can handle this kind of uh, uh, code for us. So let's build a JavaScript function, handle rotation. Let's pass a progress that needed to be an animated shared value number of type number. And let's just return this string right here. So it could be really intuitive to do uh, something like that, but this will not work. This will not work because uh, handle rotation is a JavaScript function that can be um, handled just from the JavaScript thread. Uh, use animated style uh, with repeat, with spring, and uh, all of this stuff are basically reanimated function that under the hood are worklets. Worklets are uh, the unique JavaScript function that can uh, be handled from the UI thread. So if we want to run uh, a function on the UI thread uh, written in JavaScript, we need to specify that the function is a worklet. So to do that, we need to add uh, the worklet string uh, uh, above the, the body of the function. And right now it should work as before. So uh, that's all for the reanimated basics. I hope that the tutorial was clear. Uh, and uh, if you have any doubt, uh, you can uh, of course uh, comment uh, let, uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like uh, the video.